Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447090-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa mckinnewy at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414. 4742 or email at stefan dot k u l a k o w s k i at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This project is located along Conway Road, State Road 15, in Orange County and extends approximately one mile from Devonshire Lane to Lake Underhill Road. The surrounding property along the entire project limit is predominantly residential, with commercial, industrial at the south end near the intersection with Curry Ford Road. The existing posted speed limit is 40 miles per hour. There are two signalized intersections at Curry Ford Road and Lake Underhill Road where signalization and lighting upgrades are planned. The goal of this project is to improve the roadway through repaving and constructing safety improvements along the five-lane undivided corridor. The project team has coordinated closely with the local stakeholders, including the City of Orlando, Residents, Metro Plan Orlando, and Lynx Transit about the project. Through this coordination, the design was updated to try to address concerns about access along the corridor. In addition to repaving the travel lanes, the current design will add bicycle lanes, pedestrian crossings, and improved turn lanes along the corridor. There is one existing typical section along this segment of Conway Road. It has four travel lanes with a 14-foot wide center two-way left turn lane. Inside travel lanes are 12 feet wide and outside travel lanes are 14 feet wide. Currently, there are no bike lanes along the corridor. Through extensive community engagement, the original design concept has been revised to maintain access to the surrounding community while still providing for improved safety and mobility. The updated design will replace portions of the center two-way left turn lane with raised medians, but the design will maintain access to most existing side streets. The existing crosswalk near Hargill Drive and Loring Place will be moved to north of Hargill Drive. A median will be included to provide a pedestrian refuge median. This will enhance safety by shortening crossing distances for pedestrians. A pedestrian actuated flashing beacon called a Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacon, or RRFB, will help to alert drivers to pedestrians within the crosswalk. Similarly, a new crosswalk that goes through the median to provide a refuge for pedestrians is recommended at Rockledge Road, as shown in these before and after images. The project plans include several features to help enhance safety for pedestrians and bicyclists. 
These include curb extensions, which are portions of the curb line extended out into the roadway that improve safety by shortening crossing distances for pedestrians and reducing the speed of turning vehicles. High emphasis crosswalks and crosswalks with pedestrian refuge medians to enhance safety by increasing visibility of pedestrians and providing a safe place to stop between travel lanes and protected bike lanes to provide physical separation between vehicles and bicyclists. Another important safety enhancement for drivers is the addition of median traffic separators to break up the continuous two-way turn lane. Medians will enforce the existing left turn restrictions at Corbett Place and Montclair Road. A full median opening will be available at Arcy Street. Left turns will be restricted at Laredo Place due to the school zone and proximity to the mid-block crossing north of Hargill Drive. Similarly, the new design maintains access at Hargill Drive, Casper Drive, Lenmore Street, and Elaine Place. Access will be restricted at Loring Place due to the school zone in proximity to the mid-block crossing north of Hargill Drive. Finally, existing access will be maintained at Forland Place, Cranston Place, Fontana Street, and Haylock Drive, as well as the south driveway to Woodlake Villas Apartments. At the northern end of the project, the plans maintain access at Jamerson Place, Wayfarer Place, and the middle driveway at Woodlake Villas Apartments. Access will be restricted at Rockledge Road and the north driveway to Woodlake Villas Apartments due to the proximity of the mid-block crossing north of Rockledge Road, as well as the signalized intersection with Lake Underhill Road. Another change from the original design proposed is the northbound lane configuration at the intersection of Conway Road and Lake Underhill Road. The updated design provides additional left turn storage. This will be done by making the inside lane drop into the left turn lane and the outside lane in the through lane to State Road 408. A right turn lane is provided from the outside lane north of the proposed crosswalk closer to the intersection. The project is currently in design to be completed spring 2024. Construction is expected to begin late summer of 2024. The estimated design cost is $1.3 million and the estimated construction cost is $3 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 2, 2024, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447090-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Todd Alexander directly by email at todd.alexander at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Alexander at 386-943-5558 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 447090-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project.
If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by March 2, 2024. Have a good evening.